What's up, Internet? This is Lieutenant Steve. This is my third day playing Daisy Standalone. And I've learned a lot in those three days. I have to tell you, there's a steep learning curve even for people who've played Daisy for a long time. Uh, just even yesterday, my group had to do a blood transfusion on somebody. We did a blood test on the, the giver, and he was a blood type A positive. We didn't know who the receiver, we didn't know what the receiver's blood type was, so. We took a chance, we gave him the blood, and he ended up dying over it. So, this is the life of hard knocks here at Daisy Standalone. A few other things we've learned are how to navigate without a compass, assuming you're lost. Uh, the wind usually blows to the east, so if you follow the low clouds, you can usually find your bearings. The sun always rises in the east and sets in the west, so that's another way you can find your bearing. And my party broke up up near north, uh, northwest airfield. So I'm rolling, rolling alone right now across the countryside, looking for some civilization, find more supplies. Let's eat something. Let's see what we have here. Now, the sharp objects that I have are supposed to open cans. Now let's see if that works. Try a screwdriver. No. Try a knife. Okay, so that actually works. And zombies. Yep, here comes a zombie. No problems running, it seems. Uh, zombies are pretty easily dispatched in this version of DayZ. Here we go. I hear one coming. Come to Papa, where are you? Whoa. That was intense. They can jump now. Well, there goes nothing. last. That is beautiful. How do I get up there? Oh, I want 
about that map. Tell me I can't get up there. How does one get on this boat? I want that map. Really? I can't get that map? Do I have to lower this boat somehow? Perhaps use the pliers? That would be just too much, wouldn't it? Things I've learned in the past couple days have made my time in DayZ a lot easier to survive. So, if you're tired, for example, the default keybinding is F3, and what you want to do is you want to sit down and rest for a couple seconds to regain your strength. That can affect your overall health and how much you need to eat and drink in general. Now, if you're about to vomit, that means you're severely sick and about to die. You need to take charcoal pills to ease your stomach. Um, or it can mean you're terribly dehydrated. And with the latest update, you can now click tab and look at your your health status. And here it says I'm hungry, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bite. A bite of food to eat. Now if you use a tool, a sharp tool like a knife to open your food, your cans of food, you're going to damage those sharp objects. Whereas the can opener, you can use as many times as you need. So, they're hard to find. Those can openers are small. So, blood uh, bandages and rags are used for bandaging bleeding wounds. Uh, morphine auto injector is used for broken legs, just like an original Daisy. The EpiPen now works. They fix the unconsciousness glitch. If someone gives you an EpiPen, you should wake up. And sometimes you can wake up on your own now. And blood bags, well, I told you all about that. You need to test your blood type. We had a team member die because of his wrong blood type. So, only use that if you desperately need to. Or if you know your blood types already. Currently moving into Berezino. Hoping it's clear. I want to see if I can make my way to the hospital. Grab some of those supplies. Farmer. Oh, damn. Sneaky bastards. These are a lot quieter than the zombies in the previous versions. It's definitely one of their strengths. Food. I have too much food. Cooking. 
pot, cleaning spray, disinfectant spray. about it. Ah, a well. I need that well. Canteen. Take out the canteen. Fill bottle. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my water purification tablets, purify water. That's how you make sure your water is clean. Alright folks, that is today's video. Uh, hopefully I've answered a few questions about the update and uh, some survival tips that you may have. Be well, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.